In this video, we're going to show you how you can live stream with gameplay audio with no lags using the two controller method and wireless headsets, wireless USB headsets for the PlayStation 5. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where we give you the secrets to get the console that you want. So one of the problems that we, you have with uh, if you own a Sony PlayStation 4 or 5 is that you cannot get audio to OBS if you're live streaming and use wireless headsets. But we have the workaround here. It's the two controller setup. So you need not one, but two controllers if you want to use your Arctis 7P or if you want to use your 3D Pulse headset on your live stream and also have your viewers hear the audio coming out of the PS5 or PS4. And we'll show you how to do it right here. So to do this, you need two controllers, right? You need one controller that is wired to your capture card, such as the Elgato 60 HD 60S or 60S Plus. And you need another controller that you're using. And you need to log in the second controller as a guest and then hook it up to the Elgato card and then select your wireless USB headset, such as the 3D Pulse or the 3D... Uh, or the Arctis 7P, your USB headset. Okay, so this is the HD uh, 60S. Uh, here's the line in, uh, HDMI line in. Here's the USB charger that goes to the computer. And then this is the HDMI line out that goes to the monitor or the uh, TV set. So you start out with this set up. I assume you've set this up already and you can get video, but you're not getting audio. If you're using the Elgato chat link, you want the male end closest to the, the headphone female, and then you want to put that into the controller. And then the other end that's farthest from the female end, uh, you put that male end into the Elgato or the back of your computer. And you need a 3.5 millimeter uh, line with male on both ends. So the Elgato chat link will work for that. The chat link pro is even better because you can charge your controller uh, that has the line in uh, without a buzzing sound with the chat link pro which retails for about twenty dollars as i'm recording this link in the description but you could also get a four pole line in uh, 3.5 millimeter male on both ends and that would also work in lieu of the chat link a three pole won't work uh, for chat but it will work for sound although i've heard reports of people having trouble getting their chat going through i don't use chat so i can't tell you. Okay, so when you log in to the PlayStation 5, you choose a profile, and then you want to use another controller. So you kind of fool around with the other controller and say, is this which profile? And so you can either use an alternate profile or just do a guest. We'll do the quick play guest. Now once you've uh, you've got control with the second controller, you've lost control with the first controller. So the second controller, I would say, is the one that's plugged in. And so it's, it's giving me all these tips of what I need to do, and we just ignore that and get out of there. And if I try here to get the sound with this, this guest profile, it's not going to come on, right? So going to the Arctis... 7p that's not going to go on we want it to go through the controller that's not wired up right our pri through our primary account our, not our guest account and so what i'm going to need to do is take control back with the primary controller that's not wired and so that so i've taken control with the primary controller that's that's not wired and i choose output device so 
I haven't taken control yet here. Now I go to output device and then Arctis 7P and you can see that the 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 sound bar at the bottom of OBS mm -hmm. has has gone up that that it's hearing the sounds and I'm hearing the sounds in the headphones there. So sounds output device and then your USB headset. So next we're going to look at some of the controls in OBS that may be helpful. So now that we've configured both these controllers, I'm getting audio into my headphones, my wireless headphones, my USB headphones, the Arctis 7P, and you can see that the video capture device is also getting uh, audio in. So one setting that you may want to use uh, is advanced audio properties. So for the video capture device, you'll want to probably do monitor and output. The video capture device here is our uh, HD 60 plus. So that's our capture card. For the audio properties, the default properties should be okay. Capture audio only. I So that should always work. And then the other things that we want to make sure that we have is when we're at the, we want to go to the install the 4K capture utility. And under the 4K capture utility, we want to make sure we have analog audio. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to get the console that you want. Happy streaming.